all right we're at the end everybody this is this is it right here uh we're going to of course have to make the end of the game now because what's the point if there's no end to it um i mean we can always add more there's we only have two layers here there's there's a good way to add middle layers i mean th there's always more to do you know and there's there's little bugs inside the game that that could be fixed and made better and that sound effects for the cherries is not ideal but all the same, I think this is good enough for a tutorial series. I mean, a lot of the things I talked about you can fix on your own just from the knowledge that you've been given already. Honestly, we're in a pretty good point. So, let's start talking about ending this game. So let's create something, a goal here to get to. And the big thing about like ending the game is that we're gonna want like a game over screen or something else for everybody to see. Also, we're gonna want it so the, that you can fall and do stuff. So we're gonna be talking, so a lot of this last video is gonna be talking about scene management. All right, so we're gonna be uh, messing with like our ability to mess with scenes, and it's actually not as hard as you would think. So we're gonna make a new object. And we're gonna make it so that when we fall, something happens. We're gonna create an empty object. It doesn't really matter. We'll move it to where we need it to go. I'm gonna use the move tool and just go about there. That's pretty much fine. We're gonna go box collider 2D. And we're gonna edit this thing. So that it has a shape to it. We're gonna go all the way to one edge of the screen. So if you go all the way over there, it happens. And all the way over here, it happens. It's at the bottom. Now we wanna make sure that the, that it's, you know, about where we want it. Like we want uh, them to only be able to fall so far, right? Because the camera never shows anything below this, we can even have it a little bit below the picture so that you fall a little ways and then you know, it just happens. That's a good size for it. We're gonna make it a trigger. We're gonna add a component. We're gonna make a new script. Fall script, that's probably fine. And then we're gonna double click it. Now, in order to, to mess with what scene we are in, which is the uh, board that we're in, remember it goes, there's scene, there's instances, and then there are components that's on instances. That's the way that the scenes work, right? We're gonna go using Unity Engine dot scene management. We're gonna hit the semicolon on that bad boy right there. And then we're gonna actually go and check our player here. So you see our player doesn't have a tag on it. We're gonna actually tag him on something. We're gonna put the player on there so that now that he has a tag. And now we're gonna go uh, private void on trigger enter 2D. We're gonna go if collision dot game object dot tag equals equals player then scene manager which we now have access to strictly because of uh strictly because of the scene management above dot load scene and then we pass in the name of the scene for this we're going to say private uh string and we're going to call it uh loaded uh, scene to load and we are going to serialize that build and now we can just say scene to load right this actually doesn't work as well as as if we actually need it to so we can actually even go um Something more along the lines of this: scene manager dot get see get active scene, which is the scene that we're in, and we can say dot, and then you can see the name here. So this will pull up the name of the scene that we're currently in, and we do it that way instead. Because then, if we want to use fall inside of other uh, scenes, you can do it that way instead. But the other way, this way right here, where we have scene to load, you can just uh, write in a scene in the inspector. So I'll show you what that looks like. I want you to have both options so that you can actually, like, you know, have an easier time with this. But if you're having multiple levels, then you're gonna want it. Uh, I think uh, for a fall script this way is better because it just automatically you never have to assign a name to it all right 
So, for scene manager to work, you have to go in the file, build settings, and you have to make sure that your scene is actually, as soon as it loads, that your scene is actually in there. Luckily, our scene is already inside our build. If it wasn't, you could just go into your scenes and you could just drag it right over to this top part right here, like this, see? But it's already there, so we don't really have to worry about it. And if I hit play, fall, ta-da. And in this case, like I think that like based just for the game fill reasons, I actually want to move this down. Let's just move it down a bit. So you fall for a little bit, all right? Because the camera never goes down that far, so I don't really have to be worried about that. And if I just fall, boom, right? So now that we have that inside the game, we have some scene management going. Let's uh, let's start working towards the end here. We're pretty much uh there now. So we're gonna create like a goal for the player to get to. Let's look at props on side of the Sunny Land Pack. That would be pretty cool. We call environment props. Let's check something out. See if maybe there's something here that we want to get to. I have no idea what we want. Maybe we'll just make a house. That sounds pretty cool. So right now that's set up as a sprite UI. We want it to be 16. We'll apply that and then let's just try to drag it over see what happens. I've dragged over. We go to sprite render. We put it on the entity layer. The sorting layer entity. Let's move it so that it looks about correct. There we go. Let's add a component to that, Box Collider 2D. Let's uh, make it a trigger so that it doesn't just stop you from moving. Let's make it so that I can't even see the dots on this. There we go. So let's make it so that when you get to about, mm, let's say there, anywhere about there, that it triggers, right? So now we have a house inside there. We have something to get to, an ending, so to speak. You're just trying to get home with your cherries after fighting your way through eagles and frogs. Collect some cherries. You're like, oh, yeah, dinner tonight. Yeah, yeah. We're going to run through here real quick. If you fall, you'll die, so you have to be a little bit careful. Ooh, it's like this, for instance. It's going to happen when that trigger happens. It's still going to happen, but why is my game so hard all of a sudden? I like turn up the difficulty by putting a home in there? I don't even know. Oh, it hurts. Okay. I'm having a real hard time with my own game right now. I'm really sorry, so I'm going to speed this up. I got to jump on that guy twice. So, oh, that's a pretty bad too. So even though like I'm over, I'm able to get here and I can uh, go ahead and like run into this, it's not a, I'm not able to do anything with that, right? So let's go ahead and do something with this. For one thing, we're gonna go over to this house. It's on the, it's on the right sorting layers on the entity, but right now it's actually like, uh, because it's on the same order in the layer and it's on the same layer, the game doesn't know how to like, uh, where to put it. So if you put on negative one, the, the higher this number, the later the game does it. So it does the lower numbers first and then does the higher numbers later. So if I go ahead and put that in negative one, you'll actually see if I get the player over there. See, now it's behind him. No matter how much I run, how much I go, because that's a lower number in the order and layer that I put over here, it actually runs, uh, it actually has that behind him at all times. Now. Pretty Let's go ahead and make it so that it does something. The problem is this is the only scene in the game right now. So we're gonna go file, we're gonna say new scene. We're gonna make, we're gonna name it. We're gonna save it. So we're gonna save it and we're gonna go into scenes. We're gonna give it a name. We're gonna say the end, right? We're gonna do ourselves, a, uh, we're gonna make a UI. I want uh, you to make it yourself. Just make it say something, a screen for the player to look at when the game's over. And how about you go ahead and try it as your last challenge here and then actually make it happen make it work connect it with a script all right so we're gonna go ahead and do this now it's gonna be fun all right so we're gonna go over here we're gonna right click we're gonna say 2d uh, not 2d a ui we're gonna go into a canvas because that is what we want to make it on if you focus in on this canvas that is your entire screen we're gonna say welcome home that's gonna be the canvas that's going to be the name of it. We're going to, it's on screen space overlay, which means that it's going to be the same size as the screen. 
when uh, when it happens. If you make this a different thing, it'll be the camera size, it'll be the world space size, right? It's it's completely different to overlay. It's just the screen itself, which is pretty awesome. Um, we're gonna go ahead and make a background on this. So I actually want to make a picture. So we're gonna go to UI. You can look through all these things. You see image on there. You select that image on there. We just want this to be the background. This background can be resized, of course, by using your scale tool. So we go like so. Then we go like so. As you can see now, we have a complete background on there. We can still move it around if we want to. We'll make it like a, uh, we want something cozy, like, you know, like an orangey reddish color darker so it doesn't hurt the eyes maybe or maybe I'll just have that be the welcome home something that goes along with it then the opposite end the color wheel is like a bluish color so if we're having a color there here's good we'll have it be a darker bluish color then we're gonna have a new UI object we're gonna do text we're gonna go ahead and make this text the right color that we're going for which is this color right here Pretty saturated, it's fine. We're gonna uh, go in here and size this bad boy up by using the rec tool. By the way, you can use the rec tool, it's a lot better for uh, the image as well. Rec tool in general is just good for 2D things. We're gonna go right here. We're going to center the text, center the text. We're gonna size this up a lot. We're gonna go well. We're gonna type in here, welcome. Then we're gonna copy that, paste it down below, and go home. Then just for fun, we're gonna go ahead and put another so we're gonna right click on here, we're gonna hit another image just for fun, and we're gonna go like this. We're gonna assign the house to this image right there. So we get this kind of an effect going. And then we can actually mess with the sizing. If we put this up above the text like this, the text will be down below it. And we can, you know, toy with it around a bit or anything like that. We might even wanna mess with like the how we're going about the uh, how we're going about this all together, like with the welcome home or whatnot. So we can go like this, maybe, maybe like this. And then we can throw on another image. UI image. Throw it over here. Go to Sunnyland, artwork, sprites, player. And then of course you want the one of these idols to be on there. Go into this image right here. Like this. And drag it over on the sprite. Make it the right size for him to be home. Or something like that. So you can do it a lot of different ways. Then I'm going to copy and paste it, maybe, and do something like this. And we're going to go over here to this uh, scale, do negative one. We're going to take this color, make it a little bit more on the pinkish side, you know, like this. And then we're going to do uh, not rotation. Sorry, we want to go over here to scale and just not Y scale. Sorry, we're going to want to go to the right a little bit and just thin that one out like this. And maybe make it a little bit shorter like that. You know what, we'll make it look like a child, because it's hard to make it look like a girl, <laughs> which is what I was going for originally. So, you know, there you go. You brought your uh, cherries back to your uh, child there. It's pretty cute, I think. 
that works. I'll deal with it. All right, that's pretty cool. Mm, maybe, so we'll call this one house. And this one we'll call Daddy Fox or Mommy Fox, whatever you think that is. And we can call this one Kid Fox. And we have this cool little the end scene, right? So now we can go back into our other scene, which is sample scene. It really should not be called sample scene, but it's called sample scene. And we'll go to the house where it has that little trigger on it. We'll add a component to it. We'll go and we're gonna go to the house. Normally I just make it called the end cause you know, we, we don't really need many more scripts, but just in case you want them inside the future for a different thing, we're gonna make a scene loader or let's say a scene changer. Scene change, there we go, that's fine. Create an ad, if we double click on here, and it loads eventually. We got this on here. We're gonna actually go to fall, copy this, and put it right here. We're actually just gonna go over here, copy all this, and put it all on here. Because we actually need exactly the same thing to happen on most of this. Now, anytime scene change is used, we're gonna have serialized field. Private stream scene name, and then anytime we need it to happen, anytime the the player uh, triggers this, one of these triggers, this script, when this triggered, will load up whatever the scene name is that we put in the inspector. Very simple, right? Go to Unity, see scene change. This is eventually gonna change once it's compiled. We're gonna put it as the end. It will not work as is right now because the end is not in our build settings. So we go to build settings, file build settings, in case you need to know. We're gonna to go to scenes. We're gonna drag the end to over here. We're gonna go ahead and exit out of that. And now it should function. There we go. Gotten to the end, people. This is it. We made a complete little platformer now. I'm really thankful that you uh, hung out with me all this time. It's I I know it was probably a lot more time for you than it was for me. You know, like I built this in the span of weeks, and you probably spent you know weeks on it yourself. But like you know, hours wise, it's, it's different when you're learning, I guess. So I really I really think that was cool. I I really like this. I'm hoping that I'm getting a lot of interaction with you at this point. Um, I, re I really am. Uh, I hope that like we're talking, we're hanging out, it's we're changing each other's lives for the better. Um, I hope that you hang out with me and uh, you see my next one. Hit that like button below. Hit that subscription button and the bell notification if you want to see my next series because by the time this video is out, I probably got my next series done too. This only took me a couple weeks to make and I have 30 something videos. I'm releasing a video a day. So I probably got my next series done and I'm probably thinking about my third series already. So please hit that. Hit that uh, subscription button, that bell notification, because I'm going to be releasing more stuff. And I, my third series is going to be based on your feedback. So if you put down a comment below, anything like that, I will be building something based on what you say I should do. And I think that's about it, really. Um, there's a cool maximize on play button here, because now you all knew that. And so you can get like the full screen effect here. I'm just going to run through it one more time. Just to to be done. No. Ah, oh, man. I can't believe it's over. I'm actually feeling a little sad over here and I haven't even released the... I actually haven't, like, uh, put a video online yet. Like, I'm feeling sad just because, like, I finished this, like, thing and, like, I'm talking about it. I hate endings, guys. So, this is gonna be pretty brief, I guess. But, thank you. Hope that you all have the best lives. And, uh, I hope that we were a part of each other's lives and you're still a part of this. Uh, I guess that's it. <laughs> See you next time, I hope.